Alright guys, I have my Cyborg MMO7 gaming mouse right here and what's really cool about this mouse is that it comes with a bunch of different things, how you can change how it feels, you can change the size, you can do a lot of really cool stuff and it comes with this kit here that I can open up and it actually is pretty cool, it shows you, you know, what actually comes, so you have two palm rests, two pinky rests and a weight cartridge and we'll take them all out here. So here's one of the palm rests and you can see this one actually has this nice hard coating on it and then you have this one which actually is a little higher so there is one installed on here and then this one actually makes it a little bit higher so when you're using the mouse if you want a different type of feel you can put this one on and then you have two different pinky rests so you have this plain one right here it's like you know just a plain just how that one is and then you also have this one right here which also has that harder coating on it just like this one right here now to, to install these and put everything on is really easy which I'm going to show you also there is a weight cartridge here that you can use to hold extra weights we have all of our weights installed already so but I'll show you how to take those out as well but this also comes with it one of the biggest things with mice is actually how they feel how comfortable they are and with the MMO7, you can make certain adjustments to really fit your style, how you like to hold the mouse. And one of the easiest features and the, one of the coolest features that I like is you can adjust the length of the actual mouse. And to do that, there's this little button right here. You can see me pressing it in right there. And this is going to allow you to adjust the different, this back palm rest to if you want it long, if you want it really short. And you can see here, I can take it completely off there and you can see the different adjustment marks and you can also install the different ones. So I can put this one on and of course this one has the harder finish on it and then this one right here is actually a little higher. So if you want that more of a, a bent up feel or something like that, you can put those on there. They're really easy to take on and take off and adjust. So we'll put our regular one back on and again you can see how easy that is. Another thing that you can do is adjust the pinky rest. So we have our pinky rest right here and you can see this little hole for a tool. And you may be wondering, oh, I don't wanna to have to carry a tool around with me all the time with my mouse and I wouldn't want to either. They make it really easy. See this little circular thing right there? You can take that out. Go ahead and take it out. And this is our actual tool to remove that. So to do that, all you have to do is simply go ahead and take this little screw out and you can take this off and again you have two different ones you have this one that makes it kind of like the same as the one on this side so it easily just goes on just like that and then we can lock it into place and then you have this one, which is just a little different. It has the, the harder rubber on it. Let's see if I can get it in there correctly. There we go. And then all you would do is lock it into place with the screw and again with the included little tool right here. Another adjustment that you can make is moving this actual thumb rest on this side uh, up or down. It's really cool. All you have to do again is take your tool here and there is this little spot right there and what you do is you put it in there and you can move it. So, so if you guys can see this, see it moving here and you can move it up and back. So it's going to position where your thumb is to do the different thumb commands. Hopefully you guys can see this moving up and back. It's very cool. Like I said, I like that you're able to do this because I've gotten mice that I just didn't like the feel or didn't like where certain buttons are and it took me a really long time to get used to it. and I like that you can adjust this. It just makes it really, really cool. Finally, you have your weights which are actually on the bottom right here and you can actually remove these pretty easily. There is one, two, three, four, five, five, six gram weights and to do that, you slowly unlock this. It takes a little bit here. There we go. You unlock this little back piece right here and you can take them all out so make sure you don't lose the spring that is in here 
take this out here and the spring comes off make sure you definitely don't want to lose it and then you have your five six gram weights that you can put you know if I only want three if I want two if I don't want any and it also does come with your little holder here that you can put back in the case if you're not using the actual weights now we have our mouse hooked up to our PC and you can see there are uh, two little color LEDs up here and these can be changed in the software which we'll show you in a second but it's really cool there's these two LEDs right here and then if I turn this this way you can see the indication LED for the actual DPI setting you're on and then also if I turn it this way you guys can see the LED right there for the profile and switching profiles is actually really easy you just hit the profile button and obviously it's going to change to what profile you want to be on there's three different settings for the three different profiles another really cool feature is action lock that's going to enable a button to be pressed down at all times without you actually having to hold it this is really good for games like world of warcraft or an mmo where you're traversing a lot of land and you don't want to continuously hold down a button so to enable action lock you have your two large action lock buttons right here and what you do is simply press one and your LED is going to turn green that means action lock is ready to be enabled then you hit this button and action lock is on that means that button is always being pressed down now you can toggle between it without having to turn it off so if I hit it again it's going to be green which means it's still ready to be turned on but it's off right now and then I can hit it again and it's back on now say I don't want to use action lock anymore I simply hit the action lock button and we're back to normal presses normal um, clicks and everything like that very easy to use so here is the software that comes included with the cyborg mmo7 gaming mouse very easy to use so on this main page it tells you a little bit about the product and everything like that um, you, there's a link to their blog right here everything um, pretty basic on this front now you go into your settings here and you can set your your four DPI settings so your four DPI settings can easily be set here to what you want um, all the way from 25 to 6400 DPI and it's in 25 um, DPI settings so every 25 DPI settings you are able to set which is very very cool um, you can set your precision aim too so precision aim is something that we've seen on a couple mice and what it actually does is whenever you hit this button right here on your mouse it's going to slow your cursor down this is going to be good for if you're playing a shooter where you're being a sniper or you want to get that awesome aim when you're ready to get that headshot you hit that it slows your cursor down so you can get right on the head for your good headshot and you can set how you want it to how fast you want the cursor it's default set at 50 percent you can obviously change that the lighting is also very cool so you can set your default your action lock off and your action lock on leds for the top of the mouse and again you have a wide variety of different colors to choose from and you can also set it um, by rgb if you want so it's pretty cool i like that you can change the colors to whatever you want maybe um you know if you wanted to match your case or however you want to do it you can do that let's get out of there um you can go into programming so you have your three different profiles uh, mode one through three and then you have your mode uh one shift uh th one through three as well so you can set all the different modes and you can select what each button does here which is very cool um, all the buttons can be put to whatever you want and if you click over here you can see your side buttons as well so you can program all those to do whatever you want um, again it's very very intuitive very easy to set the buttons to do whatever you would like them to do and finally you have your support which just tells you um, you know download drivers, uh, game profiles, programming manual, contact us, everything like that. Very simple software, it's not very hard to use and it's, there's not a ton of things that aren't needed. It's just what you need to program the mouse, do the different colors, set up your DPI, very easy to use. So this concludes our feature overview of the Cyborg MMO7 gaming mouse. Check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org for the full review. And remember, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.